Welcome back to the show, guys. Welcome back. Uh, good morning. I'm going to do a quick video before I go to work here. Um, get started right away by diving into the markets. Not a financial advisor. Not financial advice. Make sure you guys are doing your research, okay? We got a we got a red day in the in the market. Wow. Uh, XRP down six percent. Gala down six percent. Uh, I'll go down four and a half percent. Bitcoin down. Two and a half percent to twenty nine one. Um, very red day, but uh, this is what I like to call a shopping spree morning. Uh, da -da -da, what else we got? Renders down six percent. Jasmine's down three and a half percent. Where's my cast? What people at? Filecoin's down four percent. Maddox down three percent. Uh, pretty red day across the board, you guys. Casp was down one and uh, one point one percent. Not too bad for Casp today. Uh, anyways, let's have a look at the markets, shall we? Uh, got some Jasmine uh, Binance updates here. Uh, my understanding and opinions: KYC starts August first in Japan for the relaunch of its compliant Binance platform. Uh, existing accounts uh, that are not KYC prop. Pro properly through the new platform will be closed in the month of November 2023. This could possibly be an upcoming catalyst. Do your own research and study on your own. Never trust. So the Crypto Times says Binance launches regulated crypto trading platform in Japan. So Binance uh, is a nice change of pace from being kicked out of all these countries is actually going to be a regulated uh regulated exchange in, in Japan. I'm a little surprised why they didn't try to get regulated in Canada and other places, but uh, I digress. Um, it is what it is, right? What else do we have here? Coin Bureau says, imagine scanning your eye in exchange for a token that is controlled by a centralized company. Controversial crypto project, WorldCoin, has released its WRD token. WorldCoin scans people's eyeballs to create an immutable digital ID. The crypto project was founded by Sam Altman, the co-founder of OpenAI. So, what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about that? Are you gonna are you gonna get involved in uh, in WorldCoin? I'm sure as hell not. I'll tell you that much. Uh, I don't see how that project is ever going to be successful. To be honest with you, people just don't trust. Um, these these large entities and, and government and it's just can't they because they've proven time after time they can't be trusted right so no um, no thanks crypto geek again take everything he says with a grain of salt says breaking major thailand bank uh, cm commercial bank partners with ripple for payment processing of xrp that would be uh so that would be bank of thailand um bank of australia and Bank of India, now in the last week, have all said that they're partnering with Ripple to use XRP. So that's three banks. And we're just getting started, baby. We're just getting started. Um, by the way, got a got an airdrop uh, for you guys. I'm going to talk about it at the end of the video, so stick around for that if you guys want to get involved in airdrops. Um, new day, new all-time high for space. Uh this was yesterday they reached almost $20 um, space M MVC global riding on potential writing on potential one of the biggest narratives upcoming bull run uh, scaling I remain extremely bullish especially at this MC uh, micro cap uh, for the people not for the people not want to invest uh, you kind of mess those words up in green candles I suggest to just DCA in the case so today I wanted to talk about space a little bit I, this is the one I mentioned to you guys yesterday I've been talking about it for about two weeks two and a half weeks now I brought it to you guys when it was two dollars now it yesterday it reached twenty dollars uh, it, it moved up in rank from like twenty one hundred and twelve to like six hundred and fifty um, having a pullback today with everything else so if it's a layer one project right Sc with scaling solutions for all the top uh, blockchains, Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, you know, Polygon, all, all, all of them, right? So, if you want to get in on this, not financial advice, if you want to get in on this project, now would be a good time to DCA into it because it's had a bit of a pullback. Um, I'll pull up the price right now for you guys. 
have a look. Like I said, great time to uh, DCA in. It's pulled back from almost $20 down to $15.50. So it would be a great opportunity for you. Um, to, 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 guys, it's got fantastic tokenomics. 21 million total supply. Um, it's only got 1.1 million in circulation right now. It's still a micro cap in my opinion. Um, you can pick it up. They just got listed on uh, MEXC. Uh, if you guys want to pick it up, it's on Safe Trade as well. Don't know if you guys use that. So, uh, anyways, check that out, you guys. Uh, and I'm gonna let you know about an airdrop with it uh, shortly. So stay tuned for that. Uh, uh, what else did we got here? We got uh, Standard Chartered Bank just in 800 billion. Standard Chartered uh, Bank now forecasting Bitcoin to go beyond 120 thousand dollars this bull run. I personally feel that that's very conservative, especially if all these ETFs and everything get approved and custody gets approved by the by the banks and these custodians. I think that that 120,000 is conservative in my opinion, very low. I think it's going to go significantly higher than that. I don't think it's going to go to 1.5 million like Kathy Wood does, but I mean there is a happy medium, right? Uh, Digital Asset Investor says, um, why not have John Deaton and Jay Clayton on at the same time? Charles Gasparino, Liz Clayman, Ele Eleanor Tourette. Uh, that would put all the back and forth to bed once and for all. Let the viewers decide who's right. Uh, the reason that you can't do that is because um, Jay Clayton definitely would not come on to, <laughs> to because he'd be, uh, you know, put through the ringer. He just wouldn't be able to answer almost anything you know everything would be a lie everything would be you know the guy's been whisper quiet since the ruling i haven't heard anything from this guy since then so it's, in, a, in a perfect world it'd be nice but it never happened a uh, little update on the sec coinbase case metal lawman says judge fiala has set the schedule for the briefing on the coinbase motion for judgment on the pleadings uh, august 4th uh, Coinbase opening brief, August 11th, Amicus brief supporting Coinbase, uh, August 3rd, SEC opposing brief, August or October 10th, uh, Amicus brief supporting SEC, uh, and October 24th, Coinbase reply brief. Uh, noteworthy. Number one, uh, this qualifies as fast as a fast schedule for a big case in the SDNY, Southern District, New York. I assume that that stands for the SEC asks asked for 60 days to respond to Coinbase's motion. Uh, the judge only gave 30 days. Uh, three, the order explicitly co contemplates amicus briefs. That's a good sign. Amicus briefs at the early, at this early stage in a case are unusual and totally within a judge's discretion within wh or whether to permit them. So including a deadline is the signal that the judge is very likely to accept amicus briefs. Uh, number four, any person, uh, let's go John Deaton, by the way, uh, any person, co uh, company, or industry association thinking about filing an amicus brief in support of Coinbase's motion will need to do so on or before August 11th. So stay tuned. There'll probably be quite a bit, uh, quite a few amicus briefs. Uh, in favor of Coinbase, I would imagine that are going to start pouring out, uh, just like we had in the Ripple case, because we saw how effective that it was, right? So I would expect that to be kind of the standard moving forward, in my opinion. It'll be interesting to see who steps up. Um, <clears throat> uh, an oral argument on the motion will be scheduled for sometime after October 24th. Uh, seven, the SEC took the judge's hint at a pre-motion conference and has abandoned for now its motion to strike Coinbase's affirmative defenses. Uh, all in all, it looks like Coinbase's strategy to accelerate the proceedings is working. So, so far looking pretty bullish for Coinbase. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. Like I said, stay tuned and stay alert for the uh, amicus briefs. I think they'll start pouring in for Coinbase, to be honest with you. Uh, they're probably being written as we speak. And then we're going to get to the airdrop here, guys. Uh, it's a great opportunity uh, space. Um, like I, I was telling you guys about, we talked about it earlier in the video. They're doing an airdrop. Um, I'm personally not participating, but I like to bring you guys this information um, just for full transparency purposes, right? Um, I've participated in airdrops before. 
Sologenic, Corium, and so on, and it just, you know, uh, I'm just choosing not to, uh, I just don't have the time, to be honest with you, I'm just not going to be doing it this time, but I, like I said, I want to bring some information to you guys, uh, hey, this is, uh, hey, airdrop hunters, and by the way, I shared this on my Twitter page, or my X page, whatever the hell you want to call it, um, it's at Rob Mass, at R-O-B-B-M-A-S-S, -S, if you want to go check it out and read it, um, so that you guys can participate, right? Uh, so uh, MVC MVC swap airdrop was confirmed by Jason. Uh, he's one of the devs over there. Uh, this is the first Dex UTXO on the Space blockchain Bitcoin Layer Two. Do your own research; you won't be disappointed. Uh, follow this thread. Um, follow this thread to make sure you get your share. So I shared the thread on my Twitter page. So go there and check it out. Um, if you want to participate, um, so airdrop of uh, MVC swap token was confirmed by Jason, the official uh, Telegram. Uh, exciting news, uh, MVCers! Uh, time to activate MVC swap. Uh, to be eligible, you have to be a VSpace holder. Uh, what does that mean? VSpace means you can stake, so you stake your space on there to get your VSpace. Um, and it walks you through, that's why I said go to my Twitter page, I've shared it there, it walks you through how to set it all up and how to do it. Um, so make sure that you guys participate in this. Uh, uh, if you want to use uh, MEXC official, uh, if you prefer, then you can definitely do it through MEXC official. So anyway guys, I've shared it on my Twitter page, like I said, at Rob Mass, at R-O-B-B-M-A-S-S. -S. Go check it out. If you want to participate in this airdrop, it's right here, the whole thread, how to set it up, how to do it, check it out. I can't share it on my screen because I don't want to get hit with any copyright stuff that happened to me in the past. So that's why I tell you guys, just go to my Twitter page. It's there. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the morning news. You guys, I got to get going to the office. Uh, let's get, get fire. Let's get fire gear against her, uh, trending on, on X or whatever it's going to be called now on I don't really. I haven't talked really about this whole Twitter name change thing because I just honestly don't care. Um, but if you guys want to know more about it, if you want to talk about it, let me know. I'm absolutely happy to do that. This is a community channel, right? Um, so yeah. So shoot me a shoot me a like, you guys. Uh, subscribe for sure. We need 12 guys. We only need 12 subscribers to get to 500. So let's do it. Let's get that 12. Uh, hit the subscribe button shoot a like down there comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking Let me know what you guys are feeling about this red day guys It's a red morning, but that just means that it's time to go shopping right not financial advice But that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, top up some more bags pick up some more Cardano some Jasmine some Casper whatever I can right um, so I'll see you guys this evening probably for a live stream and uh, like and subscribe